Hello. 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 Is it that cold? Ish. It's cold. Okay, I see. But I'm surviving. Are you good? I'm good, and you? Yeah, I'm okay. How's lockdown treating you? Ah, uh, everything is okay. I can't complain because yeah, we've been complaining, but it doesn't help to complain. We need solutions. <laughs> it was someone is already complaining about my beanie. You know what, Mr. Mali? Yesterday I didn't wear the beanie and there were network issues. So this is my good luck charm. Oh, so, okay. <laughs> yeah, was... man. We had is- we had issues with the network yesterday. <laughs> yeah, but it's gonna work. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. For the comments, and eh? let me try to. Ignore the comments and focus. <laughs> yeah, I already see Mr. Ed Moses says change it, please. No, you can't change what works for you too. Um, because I tried to change yesterday, I didn't wear it, and then we had issues with the network. So hopefully, and um, I must also tell the people that actually we've been experiencing some electricity cuts in the complex. So if 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 it happens. They must just know it's not our fault. It's ESCOM. Not us. And thank you, Davi. <laughs> Guys, please behave, man. Yeah, and um, before we, 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 we really, really start with the conversation, um, I just want to tell the guys, the competition is still on. Yeah, it's simple. Follow us, friends, on all our social media platforms. Also follow Macron SA. And there was a question posed by Linda Mkalo yesterday. The question is, mm-hmm. how many goals did Banyana Banyana score at the 2012 Olympic Games? So yeah, okay. and after the show today, we are also going to ask them a question. And so mm-hmm. think of something that we will ask with the, with the end. So yeah, man. Okay. No, so who's going to ask the question? You or me? No, I'm not giving me crazy. This is this is this is me. This is oh, me. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't know why these people are on my case about my beanie and stuff. Can Even Debbie if... just leave can Debbie just leave this life? <laughs> yeah, no, we we will just mute him so that he can he can comment or say anything, yeah. Yeah. Um Miss Nonyane, thanks for, for, for your time. I know you have a busy schedule. But yeah, thanks for taking time to have a conversation with us at France Sports. Pleasure. How have you been? Well, I've been busy with my assignments lately because um, we no longer have tests and exams. So mm. we have more assignments to do right now and it's it's been hectic. So I'm busy mm. trying to finish up my assignments because I don't like submitting like at last minutes. I always make sure that I do my work on time and submit. I don't like working under pressure. So I make sure that mm. I work and finish everything on time. Yeah. And the the other thing is that we've been having this conversation with people and we talk about sports. Um, so what I want to know about you growing up, did you have any sporting code that you followed played yo <laughs> i tried everything <laughs> i tried everything so i was not good at anything but i've tried everything because i used to mm-hmm. i used to run i did basketball i did everything i did netball i tried soccer one day mm-hmm. and then what happened is that i'm lazy <laughs> I'm very much lazy. So I decided to be a goalkeeper. It was in high school. I think I was in grade eight or nine. So I decided to be a mm. goalkeeper because we started like our small team, a ladies team. Yeah. So I decided to be a, a goalkeeper that day. Yo, hey, they blocked me. Ah, they blocked me in the <laughs> ball. Ah, I was like, no more. I'm no longer doing this. I felt like I was playing rugby. Ah, the pains. So I decided like, ah, ah, I'm not going to play soccer anymore. So it didn't work out for me. I never say like I won't say I have experience when it comes to to any any kind of sport, but I've tried I've tried almost everything. 
because I just yeah. I just enjoy like being involved and growing up we never had like opportunities like uh, sports journalist and uh, production and all that the only thing the only way to be involved in sports is to actually like play take part in okay. in play games yeah and i know a lot of people they know our chat so we chat to coaches footballers but today we decided to take an off ramp um <laughs> we looked at we we looked at sports as a whole and the other thing is that we looked at beauty pageant and sports and you were miss sundowns um what does it mean to you when someone mentions sports and beauty pageant well um a lot of people don't really like understand the concept of miss mamelodi sundowns but to me mm. it's more of um empowering people to take spaces in an industry that is that is male dominated like football because we know when you speak football when you speak soccer you, you speak about men but then sundown saw a need to empower young women through a pageant which is the implementation of miss sundowns that is the whole point behind miss sundowns and uh that there's there's quite a lot of people who grew from the platform they started as miss sundowns yes and then later on they ventured into presenting they and they ventured into acting sports journalists you, you understand so it depends on yeah. what you want from the platform but mm. uh, the main idea of um, sundowns is to just um to to what can i say to involve women in in the industry that is a uh, male dominated okay 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 no no i understand i understand and um what we always do is we always ask people about their background where they from how they grew up and then so we just want to know who's faith where she from how did she grow up how was life growing up faith is faith okay since when we speaking sports i'll try to um uh, explain how i started uh, loving football Well growing up my parents never allowed me to watch TV I never watched soapies I never watched um even popies like cartoons I never used to watch those things so the only thing that we used to watch at home was news and football and as a kid I never really saw a need of watching news and understanding news so the only thing that I was able to relate to that was more exciting was football I mean yeah. after I think after the 2010 World Cup that is when I started to even love football even more I fell in love with Zidane that's that's mm. when I fell in love with yeah with with Zidane I fell in love with Zidane so um I think one of the reasons I I started to love football is because of my background that I never had an opportunity to fall in love with anything from TV but only football yeah and i read somewhere in one of the interviews that you might have done with some other publications that when you were growing up you didn't have like access to tv and stuff you only you only listen listen to radio and you and your father would listen to radio and listen to games and stuff like that how was it like for you it's not like i had a choice <laughs> yo it took some time for my dad to finally buy a tv like he mm. just has this negativity when it comes to television i don't know why mm. i honestly don't i don't I, like i honestly don't know why he didn't like tv so he it took him time to actually buy television so we used to watch everything like we used to listen to everything on on radio yeah and it's not like I, only... i didn't have any other option no it's understandable So I'm trying to think how does one fall in love with with football by listening and not seeing what's happening you I think that's where in like a commentary like commentators have to do their work when it comes to that um okay there are some people that uh will make you feel like you 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 have the visual aspect of what's going on by just talking Mm. you understand so it's a matter of them trying to make us feel like we we can see what's going on on the field yeah 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 no that's understandable the likes of mapenzela um 
Babam Tetwa and the other guys. Are you winning which one you think? No, no, I'm so sorry about um, that. The report can be in. Oh, okay. We have a question here from Miss Lindy with Tubelo. The likes of Roland Strauss and Zuzi Twins entered Miss Sundowns. Miss SA before before going on to win. How many times did you enter Miss Sundowns? <laughs> Yo! Kunzi, <laughs> my ass. How many times? How many times? Okay, I, I entered Miss Sundowns when in 2017 I entered in Limpopo and I didn't win and then I entered again in 20 2018 at Limpopo I didn't win and then I decided to go to Northwest then I won so I entered mm. three times before winning no winning okay yeah. I want to ask you this your first time going to a football game or at the stadium which game was it I don't even remember I don't remember But that was like yo that was like 20 was it 2013 2013 or 12 somewhere there 2013 i think but i don't remember which which team we were playing against but it was definitely sundowns i don't remember which team we played against but it was in 2013 okay there's a comment here from dingin aban did this still get my same i can't even see them <laughs> No, I'm the one who's supposed to see them, and I'll read them oh. to you. Okay. He's just going to make. Isn't this little girl like the same thing? And then Linda was, Linda was saying all the best for Miss SA 2020. Thank you so much. Okay, and um, the other question that I have for you is that um, apparently before you you joined Miss, you've you you've always been um, a Mamelodi Sundowns supporter, so now. I want to ask what is your favorite moment or memory of the club? Um my my okay my favorite memory was 20 I think it was in 20 2012 was it 2012 mm -hmm. or 2012 when we played the Netbank Cup scoring 24 goals in one game against Powerlines Yes against Powerlines FC that is the game that made me fall in love with Sundowns and I will never forget it Mm -hmm. and it also i i i read that your father is a mamelodi sundown supporter the ro did he play a role in you being a sundown supporter or maybe you were a supporter of another team and he changed you to a sundown supporter no no actually my uncle is the one who's a sundown fan my dad is a kz team supporter so okay um, my dad is very strict so i don't really like talk that much with him yes we like we do watch the ball together and we don't really like talk like we don't even go into details so i was very close with my uncle and then when i moved to pretoria when was it when i moved to pretoria in 2012 i stayed with my uncle so i think he also like he he's the reason i'm i'm supporting sundowns okay okay and uh, to go for it yeah Oh, was it because he's from Pretoria and he sundowns and he supports sundowns because he's also from Pretoria? I don't know his reasons. I never really asked him, but every time when I ask him about sundowns, he he would always say that how oh, sundowns is always winning. Sundowns is the winning team, so you you must just support sundowns. Yeah. So no, let's, let's move a bit. <laughs> let's move a bit. Let's talk about beauty queens and sports. How how does the two connect from your own knowledge mm. like and your own experience yeah I think um part of the reasons why sundowns came up with this program is to try and um increase their supporters base you okay. understand so they came up with this program so that us can go and market the brand mamelodi sundowns So okay. we are the ones who bring people to the stadium. We are the ones who are bringing in numbers. And okay. we are the ones who introduce people to sports. There's quite a mm -hmm. lot of girls who like never really enjoyed going to games but today because they knew faith as Miss Sundowns and I have invited them to go to the stadium they love sports. Mm -hmm. Yes. 
Okay, okay. I see Miss Mamelody Sundowns has joined here also. But there's a comment from that's that's you're gonna assist I'm 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 not good when it comes to speed. Ribatla Marupengle. What's that? Marupeng from Andy's photo. Marupeng is this other guy. Um I was live with him, I think, during the week. So we're just talking about football and I asked him like what is it that he misses about the beautiful game? What does he miss about the stadium vibes and everything? And then the only thing that Marupeng said was like he miss uh half time because he eats so he, he miss food that's the only thing he's missing oh, okay and you what do you miss what do you miss about the game since we were locked out what do you miss about being at the stadium i miss everything i mean singing the beautiful game and mommy lodi sundowns winning as always <laughs> Yeah, and when you had, when, when you to, end... we're supposed we're supposed to be lifting the trophy. Actually, we're supposed to be. Yeah, we're. So, how sure are you that Sundowns was going to win the league? Because they were we're number two. They're to... still number two. We're definitely going to win the league. We're out of CAF, so our focus was on on the league. On the league, but the Red <laughs> Milson think you miss being up there eating also. <laughs> Wait, I don't that know. Can you yeah, see how there's... thin I am? Do I look like someone who eats? <laughs> this moment, we are proud of you, Faith. Keep up the awesome work. Yes, we are gorgeous. Yet we love Mamelody Sundowns. Thank Definitely. you, Miss Mamelody Sundowns. <laughs> and then, when 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 you when you entered Miss Sundowns, what did you hope to achieve when you got the title? Well, I feel like I have so much to offer to the world. Um, when I look at young girls, okay, first of all, when I grew up, like uh, there's quite a lot of people that contributed towards me being the woman that I am today. So, looking mm -hmm. at myself, I feel like I am. I'm like water. There's quite a lot of beautiful girls out there that I see. I see them as flowers, and I believe that I am water. I am. Like I am, I'll always be there to water them and make sure that they become beautiful flowers. I feel like I have so much to offer to the world. So I wanted a mm. bigger platform, and I wanted, like, I wanted my my voice to be heard. And um, the only way to do that, I thought, I think it was, it was definitely going to be through a platform such as Miss Sundowns. Yeah, yeah. And and when you say a lot to offer, just maybe like give like a a bit of information on what you really need to like to offer. Yeah. Okay. Um, currently, I have a foundation uh, named Provide for Hair Foundation. So we focus more on education. We focus on women empowerment. We advocate for human rights and social change and also community development. Uh, throughout the whole year, last year, we have been running a stationary drive. Uh, we adopted a school in Northwest and we donated a lot of things to them last year. What's happening now? With... Yeah. Okay, Linda says, yeah. Can you hear Hello, me? Faith. Yeah, I can hear you. Can I can you hear, hear you. Yeah, so, Linda um, like we last year we focused on on education. We had a stationary drive and we adopted a school in Northwest. We donated a okay. uh, stationary to them and yeah, it was also covered on Love PSN. Apart from oh. that, we also hosted Women Women's Day by data please. <laughs> we also hosted a Women's Day gala dinner on the 9th of August, uh which was uh, which was basically um focusing on women empowerment and how we can educate women to be fully participants of economy. Mm. Okay, Linda says, ha ha, na faith, kiss the chiefs, we she a copy. Okay, we're not going to read Dove's comment. <laughs> and then Mpomo Charles says, hey, Miss South Africa 2020. <laughs> you eat too much and never gain weight. <laughs> And then Andilis Poros says, wow, great work, Faith. Hope your foundation gets sponsors. Thank yeah. you so earlier much. On, earlier, earlier on, you, you spoke about um, 
Miss Sundown's opening a way of, 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 of women being part and parcel of the game. And now I want to know from working with, 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 with the club um, in addressing stuff like transformation in football, can you just elaborate more on that? On, on in terms what? of the transformation, on transformation of football. Um, we have tried so much to advocate for female footballers, but I, I still feel like we have a long way to go because we're looking at the current state in which uh, female footballers and male footballers don't earn the same amount of money. And mm. also when it comes to exposure and coverage, like male, female footballers don't get... Uh, I, I think they don't get what they deserve. Most of mm -hmm. their games are not even broadcasted on TV. And okay. I think like they're very good in what they're doing. Mm -hmm. So they deserve to be seen, they deserve to be heard, and they deserve to get sponsors, but we're not seeing that. So we tried so much to make sure that they are out there and heard and seen, but I feel like we still have a long way to go. And also, when it comes to involving women in this industry, we speak about uh, journalists, we speak about uh, commentators, and there's quite a lot of things that women can do in this industry, not only like playing football, but there's quite a lot of things that they can do. And it is advisable for teams to actually involve women in, 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 in a beautiful game, because we also do watch football, we do love football, we do love the, food, the beautiful sports, but we just need to feel like we are needed. We need to feel that uh, we are supported in what we do. Mm. And if, if you had the opportunity to, to make those changes, what type of changes would you make? Um, like I said, we advocate for equal rights. The first thing that uh, I will definitely uh, look at is the, the salaries. Because, I, like I said, most uh, female foot, like foot, male footballers and female footballers don't get the same amount of money. Actually, their salaries are so low that we cannot even like talk about it. We can't even mention the, the amount of money they get. Most of mm. our, foot, our male footballers actually have work. They work and while also like doing football as, I don't know, like part-time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We understand. So the first thing that I'll focus on or I'll advocate for is equal salaries and also sponsors because I think what leads to them not getting the same amount of money that uh, male footballers are getting is due to the fact that they don't really like have a lot of sponsors and they're doing mm. quite well. Yeah. Since you mentioned about women's football and stuff like that, my melody sometimes has... Um, a women's football team. Yes. Did you get a chance to engage in conversation with some of the players just to find out how is it playing for sundowns? Of course, like I'm, I'm only supportive. Even now, we still do talk. I've been to, I've been to their game several times, and mm. I've always been supportive. They know, like if everything they need, they do talk to me. We, we are like, we are like sisters. I'm friends with quite a lot of them, and we talk. We talk every day, so yeah, I, 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 I like I, I do talk to a lot of them more than I don't know more than the whole team actually. Mm, mm, mm. Mm -hmm. If Sundowns, if Sundowns was to host an event, I'll actually prefer to sit with the female footballers because, you know, like I'm happy when I'm with them. Yeah, mm. did they perhaps raise any concerns or issues that they might have, except for the salary part of it? Well, a lot of them have been like the only the only concern that they've raised with me was the the salary issue. Other than that, mm. they did and also sponsors in terms of gear and gloves, and what else? Soccer boots. Like most of them, uh, they 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 concerned with uh, sponsors and the amount of money they're getting. Yeah, and how is it like working with the um, Masan Dawa and the supporters because? When you watch them on TV or being at the stadium, they always singing, they always jolly. How is it like for you working with them? <laughs> you must eat. 
Before you leave home, you must make sure that your stomach is full. <laughs> because they sing for 90 minutes. Mm. 90 minutes non-stop singing. So yeah. <laughs> you must just make sure that you are ready. But yeah, it was, it was, it's always amazing. I mean, being at the stadium with the fans and I love them. They love me. They've been supportive in everything that I do. Uh, I think I think I actually fell in love with the supporters more than any other thing. Because mm. mm. uh, it... on, on that night when I won Miss Sundowns, a lot of them already knew me by my name and that was so surprising. I was actually so mm. shocked and it was just amazing. Like everyone was just screaming, faith, 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 faith. And I was like, oh my God. So these people know me. Yeah. Yeah, it was so shocking and it was and... amazing. It was so overwhelming. Um, during your reign as, as, as Miss Sundowns, what more did you enjoy? Did you enjoy um, being at the VIP or did you enjoy being amongst the crowd singing and dancing? <laughs> Yo, I think I both, I don't know, both, but I think I enjoyed mm. singing more because everyone at the VIP is uptight. Like, I would only prefer to be at the VIP if I'm wearing heels or I'm having a bad day or maybe I'm not feeling the game. That's when I'll be at the VIP. But if I want the vibe, I always make sure that gets <laughs> and, and And also, when... <laughs> VIP <laughs> Of course! <laughs> And also, the being Miss Sundowns, you you got the opportunity to work closely with uh, Mr. Mutepe and then and Coach Peter Musimani. And some people might be intimidated um, being around them because they're so successful in whatever they're doing. Um, how is it like for you? Were you never intimidated being around Mr. Mutepe or Coach Peter Musimani? No, I was. I was never intimidated. Because I feel like we need to learn from people who have made it in life. If I want to be successful, I definitely need to listen to people like them. So if I'm, not, if I'm going to be scared, then what was the whole purpose? What was the whole use of people putting me out there and giving me this platform? Yeah. Mm. And, and what did you learn being around them? Any tricks or stuff that you learned that you feel like, you know what, you will implement in your life going forward? From coach Peter Musimani, I'd say I've learned leadership and standing for what I want. Because sometimes, like, we, we used to chat at the stadium. After the game, he would come to me and be like, oh, how was the game? Did you enjoy? We, we used to talk about a lot of things. And one thing that I didn't really understand that he used to do, he would come to me and be like, sorry. Every time when we lose, he would say sorry because he would see my face that I'm so hurt and I, 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 I want to cry. He would come to me and be like, so and and, it, and how uh, <laughs> it takes <laughs> what no i was just gonna ask how did that make you feel like having a coach of one of the successful teams in the country coming to you and saying no sorry for the loss like i really didn't understand that i honestly didn't understand that i was like yo this guy is so humble Mm. So, because not only me, he actually do talk to um, a lot of supporters, and every time when we lose, he'll definitely come to us and say sorry. And it takes a good leader to actually apologize and say, you know mm. what, we are so sorry we didn't win, things didn't work out. And from yeah. from Dadepi, Dadim, uh, um Patrice Mutipe, what I've learned from him is. Uh, the art of giving, that the more you give is the more you receive. He has given so much and his cup is always overflowing. Yeah. He does run out of blessings. God continues to bless him all the time because he is a giver. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And apparently you and Coach Bito are twins. Definitely. We are twins. <laughs> we are both born on the 26th of July. Mm. That's why I understand what? his way of leadership. Mm. Leo. What, has there ever been like a funny story or a funny incident involving Coach Pizzo when you were around? 
that you can share? Uh, <laughs> let me see. There's kind of a lot that happened. Like during <laughs> camp. You, you know this, man. Why are you putting me on the spot? No, I know nothing. I don't know. I know nothing. That cave that that cave game when he was complaining. Complaining about what? Come on. <laughs> Why are you being like this? <laughs> no, I want to know. Maybe there are people here who, who didn't watch the game, but since you are here, they want to know what it was about. Uh, I don't. I, okay, I don't think I have ever seen that part of him. Another mm. question. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, it's fine. The thing is, he stands for what he wants, and he's he's so emotional. So everybody knows that coach is so emotional. So <laughs> why you put one it on the spot? They all know that because definitely after it happens, the following day it will definitely trend. So nobody will mm. come to me and say, "Ah, no, I didn't see. I didn't know. Tell us, no, guys." <laughs> no, okay. No. And and also during your your reign as 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 Miss Sundowns, you had that unfortunate incident where you were in a car accident. Um, how did the love of the guys from Mamelodi Sundowns, those around, help you get through that tough time? Well, everyone was supportive from from the from the players to supporters. Even not not even um, Mami Lodi Sundown supporters only. Mm. Even Kaiser Chiefs supporters. I think they were asking me about Chiefs. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> so everyone was just supportive in the whole football industry. Um, mm. I I was losing it because that accident just decided to mess up my face. So it was crazy. Hey, it was crazy. I thought I thought I'll never look like this anymore. But yeah, right. Hmm. <laughs> and, and, and now, since your your reign is done as as, as Miss Sundowns, are you still involved with the club, or now since you you no longer are you no longer there, but you there as only as a supporter? For now, I'm just a supporter. The thing is, this lockdown messed up a lot of plans. So for now, I can't tell until things are back to normal. But um. I'd love to definitely be part of the team. Mm. In what capacity? Uh, mobilizing supporters, working with campuses. That's what I really loved, and that's what I did during my reign as well. So I would like to continue with with that. Mm. If if there was someone that you needed to convince to join Sundowns, how would you do that? Since you say you mobilize, you want to be part of the mobilizing. How would you do that? <laughs> People like free things. You just give them shares. <laughs> so, so, so is it why um, when there are games, Mamelodi Sundown says, if you're wearing a yellow t-shirt, you'll enter the stadium for free. <laughs> you understand. And people do come in numbers to support us. But okay. Mm. <laughs> no, on a serious note, okay, if I need power to... Sorry, my battery is low. Ah. I'm going to have to shift so that I can charge my phone. So normally I'll just uh, invite them to the stadium. And as yeah. soon as they experience the craziness and the love from the yellow family, they definitely join us. Who would want to be part of Sundowns? Yeah, yeah it's understandable. Once, once you taste and... winning, if your team has been losing all along once you taste winning once you taste sugar you will never want to go back to your salt <laughs> and, so and your team has and been that... losing all along ah come here we'll show you how winning is like yeah and mm. how is it like working with the players like players like from pokeka and uh, andile jali just to name a few, how was it like working with them in, in the community outreach programs that you guys did? Well, they're so humble. When you see them on pictures, you'll be like, yo, I'll never talk to such a person. But I think all of them, actually, all of them are very much humble. Um, mm. I really enjoyed my, myself. At, during, sorry, 
I'm just trying to switch on my light so that we can have proper lighting. Just give me a second. So we tend to think they are so aggressive and not approachable, but the truth is they are very cool. Like I really enjoyed myself. Mm, so you enjoyed humble. your time. Them are actually humble. Yeah. Mm. And what what's next for Miss Faith? What is it? What's next? What's next to achieve? Well, I'm currently doing third year in Bachelor of Commerce, so I just want to graduate and get my degree. Then from there, go get my honors. So, what else do I do apart from school? Oh, I've recently entered for Miss South Africa, and I'm hoping to. I'm hoping to win that. Mm. Mm. Angela Kupega says, please sing your favorite sundown song. <laughs> Yo, guys, why are you guys putting me on the spot? I think, I think radio interviews are much better. <laughs> this is probably my longest interview that I've ever had. My favorite Seriously? sundown song. Yeah. Most of my interviews were like 20 minutes. No, but we've been talking for like 10 minutes. We started at 7. What do you no. mean 10 minutes? It's 20 to 8 now. My favorite okay, sundown so... song. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Drum roll. Beep, 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 beep. Our faith is about to sing. <laughs> I'm actually so comfortable around you because I know you. Okay, let me see. Mm. No, it's fine. Let's let's leave it for another day. Apparently, the, the CD has scratches. So yeah, not playing. Is, yes, <laughs> okay. Normally, what what we do here with 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 our guest, we we have a quiz. It's just five yeah. questions, quickly. Okay, there's a message from Linda Mutlad. We wish you all the best faith with my South Africa competition. That's all Thank the way so from much, Sweden. Linda. That's all the way from Sweden. Eh? You see, we, we, you're getting love all the way <laughs> from Sweden. So see, okay. These people really want me to see. Eh? <laughs> so I've got five questions. Quick, quick questions. You just oh choose. Oh my gosh. You and questions. Why can't I the ask end... you a question? No, you can ask a question after I'm done. Okay. There's five. VIP or extra strong? Extra strong. Give links or open my knees. Who? Give links or open my knees. Give links. Eh? Wait. Give links or who? <laughs> or open my knees. Sir. Open my knees. <laughs> Kev Champions League medal or Absa Premiership medal? Kev. Kev. Baba, we're going continental. Bafana, bafana, banyana, banyan. Banyana, banyan. <laughs> that's a tough one. <laughs> that's a tough one because I actually love both of them. You I'll must choose one. Linda. You go with Linda. Uh, yeah. Okay, okay. You had a question? <laughs> nah, it's fine. No, I do have a question. You can't be asking, like you asked me 100 questions today. Yeah, but that's my job to ask you questions. You're my guest. But I thought we were going to have like a conversation, not putting okay, someone good. on the... Mpa, what's wrong with you? <laughs> you sell out, why Oprah? No, I don't think, like, <laughs> live interviews are not for me, guys. Because so what's your question? Like, uh, something like post comment there, ne? a person mm. like you or whoever is watching this might not understand, but I know the meaning behind that. <laughs> <laughs> I definitely mentioned someone that he doesn't like. Mm. But yeah, anyways. Okay. And he says you sell out. Why Oprah? No, I said gift. Oh, you said gift. Oh. Yes. 
Mpomo Chab says, tell us more about Miss South Africa. Mpo, what, what more do you want to know? Okay, fine. I'm just excited about... The thing is, there's not really that much... Like, I, I don't know what to say because I've just started and I'm not, I'm not a semi-finalist yet. So I don't even know what to say. I don't know what to expect from it. But what I can say is that I'm looking forward for positive response and mm. I'm definitely ready to represent South Africa and the whole sports mm. industry, the whole football lovers. I'm sure they cannot wait to see me representing them. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. Also, yeah, so I'm excited. Um, you're excited. Now, all the best, all the best. Hopefully, you you make it. You make it. I know you'll make it. But I do have a question then, for you. Sure. Okay. This is the first time someone is asking me a question. Okay. Shoot. Okay. What's What's your view on the fact that uh, a lot of people uh, celebrate strikers more than <laughs> more than defenders? Why are you laughing? <laughs> I'm laughing at the question. <laughs> okay, so, so your question is why do people celebrate strikers? strikers? More than defenders, because all of them contribute towards to contribute towards the the, the, the success of the team. Yeah. But people just okay. want to see goals. Why? Why why do people do that? Okay. My my analogy to that is that you know when you go to a shop, you buy something that you love. That's a finished product. You buy it and you chow it. And then you will say, um, that Danan yogurt is so proper and stuff like that. Forgetting the people at the factory, the merchandisers and what that and what, 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 what. You want to celebrate the end product, not how it's been made, what's been hoit in there and stuff like that. So you want to celebrate the end product. So I think most people um, celebrate the goals because that's the end product, a goal and the team's going to win. Stuff like that. So that's why. That's my That's view. unfair, right? Life is not fair. <laughs> but that's Life unfair. Is not fair. I Life mean, not fair. for the other team, for the opponent to not score is because there are defenders and the goalkeeper at the back making sure that they save those goals. You yeah. understand? So I feel like we also need... To... Hey, hey! I feel like we also need to, like, appreciate the good work that the defenders and the goalkeeper is doing at the back line. Because most people just want to see goals. The only thing they want to see is strikers scoring. That's the only thing they want to see. They want to see to see goals. They also go to an extent of wanting midfielders to also score. What about yes. at the back? What about the good work at the back? We don't appreciate the good work at the back. That's why I like Nascimento. As my favorite, exactly. player. my favorite no. player, actually, because mm -hmm. you understand, it's because of them that we remain and uh, lurking. Uh, what do you call? What's the correct? What's the spot word for it? Okay, never mind. Okay, yo, Mr. Giftlings just popped in. Um, unfortunately, Mr. Giftlings, you missed out. Faith chose you over Opaman. Yes, I have. Oh, Giftlings. <laughs> Gift they asked her who is my favorite player between Gift Links and Opa Manyesa. So obviously you know I had to choose you. <laughs> okay. Um now you have because the opportunity. people think I'm biased because I've been talking about sundown, 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 sundowns. And at the end of the day, I'm a South African citizen. <laughs> so you you were you were doing gifting a favor? No, I'm not doing gift a favor. I'm a South African citizen. I'm a South African citizen and I support all footballers, you understand? Mm. I support everyone. Okay. So I must not just talk about sundown, 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 you understand? No, oh, okay. Yes. Now you have an, oppo no. you have gift, an opportunity. Gift is to my speak. favorite. Okay. Now you have an opportunity to select your five aside. Yo. Okay. Gift <laughs> more. Okay, goalkeeper, I'll definitely have Onyango. I'll definitely have Onyango as the goalkeeper. And I'll have, I'll have Nascimento, obviously, as my defender. And in the middle, I'll have Kompoke Kana. And ah. 
Why would Raha? No, there's three Sundowns players already. Okay, in the middle I'll have uh, Trompo Kekana and mm. um, two more. Okay, leading my team up front will definitely be Valdez is definitely gonna come. So this will be like as <laughs> <laughs> and Lebo Hang Mabu when one a date. Give this complaining. How can I be your favorite player, but then I don't make your five side team? <laughs> Give you are on the same standard with Zlatan in my life right now. <laughs> Gift. You're on the same you're you're on the same level with Zlatan right now. You understand? Yeah. yeah. So what if 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 I were to mention your name i'll definitely be talking about proper things starting 11 not this the uh, small games how can you work as starting 11 gift you are number one on my list you are not even a substitute start what toma game yeah um faith thank you man for your time um i know you're busy with school work and stuff like that. But yeah, thank you for taking out your 47 minutes of your time to, to share your life and your experiences about being in the sundowns. Just final words from you to South Africans who are watching, um, football-loving people who are watching. Well, the only thing I can say is that stay at home, stay safe, and... We are hoping that we'll definitely start. Uh, we will definitely start with the with the league because we definitely want to see the end. This thing of you guys, Lena Wodumza and the others, who are thinking hey, that the league will go somewhere, mm -mm. the league will definitely go where it's supposed to go. We want to see the end. The race is you not wish. over. We will definitely play the remaining games. Oh, you like your coach? You've watched this movie before. I didn't. <laughs> no, that's what that's what Coach Pizzo always says. I've watched this movie before. <laughs> <laughs> no, so yeah, just, just stay strong, guys. Mm. Yeah. Okay, there's Mpom jobs. Okay, Mpom, we're almost done, but I will read this. Take us through quickly on your journey of being Miss Mamelodi Sundowns 2019. Maybe the highs and lows. Yo, the lows, Jonaina, I don't even want to talk about the lows. Well, my journey was so amazing. It was educating as well. Uh, I've learned a lot from, from Mami Lodi Sundowns as the brand that I've started to support from childhood. I've been supporting the brand from childhood. So having to know more about football, things that I didn't know, it was actually fulfilling and I really loved that. Um the lows and the brand also gave me exposure okay. uh, made a lot of contacts i mean it is through the platform that i am having this conversation with you if i was not miss mommy Lodi sundowns hey you are not even going to think about hosting me <laughs> <laughs> you understand so it is through the yeah. platform that people are, are able to recognize Faith Nonyani as a brand as well, you understand. Um, it gave me so much exposure and I'm very much grateful. Um, the lows. Oh. <clears throat> Where the lows? No, everything was just amazing. Except yeah. the fact that I was involved in a car accident. I think that is, that's the only thing that um, was so challenging. Mm during my reign but other than that I had fun because we won the <laughs> cup we won PSA yeah. last year and the telecom cup as well I was still yeah. Miss Sundowns when you were we the good the luck charm when we won the telecom cup I was still Miss Mamilodi Sundowns so you were the good luck charm yeah okay before I let you go there's a competition the mm. that we are running. Um, mm -hmm. The viewers tend to win um, Jersey at Club Bruce Jersey. And I said, as I said earlier on, it's simple. 
follow France Sports on all social media platforms. Follow um, Macron SE. There was a question posed yesterday by Linda Mutalo. She asked, how many goals did Banyana Banyana score in the 2012 Olympic Games? So the second question is coming from Ms. Faith Mianni. What is your question, madam? How? But before we started the interview, I asked you if I'm the one who's going to be asking the yeah, question. Yeah, I said yes. I said yes. You said no, you are asking the question. I said I'm the one that's doing the interview. When you will ask the question for the competition. So one question that they have to answer. What do they win? They win a club Bruce Jersey. No, Pesci Tower's team, the Jersey that they win. <laughs> That was leading to my question because I wanted to ask which South African player plays for Club Rouge, but you ruined my question. So now you have to come up with a question because you ruined my question. I wanted to ask that question and you decided to just give them the answer. How? Oh. Okay. Uh, let me think, 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 let me think. Let me think. An easy one. An easy no, one. why must you give them easy questions? How many titles has um, Sundowns won under coach Pitu Musimani? Okay, under coach Pitu Musimani. How Pito many Musimani. titles? Did you, yeah. did you hear that, guys? How many titles did Sundowns win Sundowns under coach Pitu Musimani? The leadership, his majesty, yeah. the king, coach so it's Pito Pito Jingles Musimani. Yeah, so it's simple. They must just go to our social media platforms, follow, answer the question, follow Macron SA. Answer the question. The winner will be announced on Friday after our chat with a legend. We have a legend coming Friday. We have a legend coming Friday. So yeah, yeah, yeah. A legend. If, you <laughs> yeah if, 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 if if the guys have been watching I, the I games over her? the week. No, you're not. You? No, you're not. That hurts. No, you're not. You you, you can't enter. But hey, Miss Nonyane, thank you for your time. All the best for Miss South Africa. We will be there cheering. And all the best in whatever you do in your life. Yeah, and thank you for your time. Pleasure. Do you have someone after me? Mm -hmm. Do you have someone no. after me? Or are we done for no, the day? No. Oh, we're done for the day. Because you were complaining that you normally do, 30, do 15 minutes interviews. Uh, I, I just get there and then they ask me my name and say name. What is it that you do? Done. How is it yeah. to be Miss Sundowns? I'm done. Yeah. So Mpoma Chap says Namaste. That's good luck in Mandarin, I think. Namaste hey, is Mandarin. Mpo is my best friend actually. I don't I don't understand why he's asking all these questions during my interview because he's supposed to be texting me. That's my best friend. Yeah, but, but this is not an interview. It's a chat. It's a conversation. We're having a conversation. It's not an interview. I feel like, I, I feel like it's we an don't interview do interviews. Because, no, I feel like it's an interview because you asked me 100 questions. No, I didn't. We're just having a conversation. Miss Mamelu Sana says, All the best with everything. Love you, Lords. Thank you so much, family. Love you too. Yeah. Are we done? Yes, we're done. Yes, it's a chat. That was yeah. Quick. You see, when you're having fun, it goes on quick. When you're having uh, fun, it goes on quick. No, we'll have you some other time. For, for, for round done. two. We'll, we'll have round two very soon. No, I'm done. Because when I'm you done. don't want me to be asking you questions, you ask me 100 questions and I only ask you one question. Okay, you have, you have five minutes. To ask you questions. Yeah, you have five minutes. Five minutes. You know Instagram gives okay. you an hour. Oh. Yeah. So, so you have five okay, minutes. We, like we've been here for an hour. It's almost we've been here for 55 right? minutes. Yeah, almost an hour. Really? I didn't know I can talk so much, eh? When you have someone that's making things to happen. Yeah, because it, it, normally, it, it, like it I always tell people, I always tell people that 
I'm not I'm not a speaker. I don't talk. I prefer writing more than speaking. Mm. Like if someone if someone calls me and say, "Okay, fine, Faith, I want to have an interview with you over the phone," I'll be like, "Can you please send me questions so that I can write them and send them back to you?" I prefer yeah, you writing say- than talking. But I actually spoke for an hour tonight. Wow. You did the same with me and I told you I can't I can't send you questions because it's going to be boring if I send you questions and prepare yourself. Not not even that. It's not about preparing. I just don't like talking. Okay. But you, now like, you've been you talking. Me, you put me on a spot. I don't weigh my answers. For example, like the question where you asked, you deliberately asked me about a Sundowns player and gift who is in Denmark and people know me as Miss Sundowns and a Sundowns supporter. Now you want me to choose between a Sundowns player and my friend. And you chose. Ah, oh, well, <laughs> friendship is difficult, guys. My friends come first. <laughs> <laughs> so you you have you have two minutes to ask me a question before we we close. As it turns, I'm done. Ah, you see, we done. I'm But, yeah. done because. You just you asked me so many questions. I'm angry. I'm sad. I'm not angry. I'm sad. I thought beauty pages involved public speaking or maga faith or moreri. <laughs> moreri means a preacher. Oh, okay. You see, I'm I'm learning I'm learning CPD today. You must learn. You must definitely learn. Out of I'll every conversation, you must come out with something that is very, uh, that's that that will add value to you, your knowledge and everything. Yeah, that's, you must just not come out the same. Yeah. I must add yeah, value. Yeah, 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 we are yeah. good. We are good. Yeah, but yeah, man. Um, thanks. Bye bye. We'll chat. Sure. Bye everyone. Thanks for joining. Remember to enter the competition. I know you know the answers. So definitely you must get, you must you must go enter. Since well I can't enter, please go enter on my behalf and give me the jersey. <laughs> Cuz I want it. So please guys do me a favor. You know I love you so much, right? So please go enter the competition and give me the jersey. Kitale <laughs> pilela. Bye. Yeah.